And this university gave us our foundation, it gave us our opportunity. It's our turn to give back and help these young kids now and try and gain their opportunity to move on to college. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. What is the importance of these camps you are having now uh, to the YSU program? Well, recruiting is our lifeline. That's, that's, how, that's survival. So for the first time in 19 months to be able to evaluate and meet young men face to face, I mean, is critical to our program. That's how we're going to operate. That's where we're going to put all of our emphasis. So having camps this June, uh, whether it's at Ohio State, whether it's on our campus, whether it's down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, but getting out and being able to see players, uh, it, you can tell things are getting back to normal. We started this camp in 1986, so this, this marks the 30, 36th year of this camp. Jim Trestle started this camp, and I happened to be in the NFL at the time, and he called and said, why don't we have a summer kick camp? And uh, So that was 1986, and it took a big turn in 1989 because we had a young kid from Austintown Fish named Jeff Wilkins, who was a camper, and he's our success story. A guy who went on to be an all-pro in the NFL, and now he's here. He's the lead counselor of the camp. Paul, what was it like last year not having this camp and just being a summer being a barren year? It, it, it was depressing. It was sad. First time since 1986 we did not have a camp. So it was sad to me that we didn't have kick camp. So it's really exciting to be back out here again with this group of kids. Well, we had freshmen check in this week, first time. And it was the first time I met them. And that's unusual, and that, that'll never happen again. But, you know, they step on campus. You, usually you're going to be in their houses. You're going to be in their schools. You're going to have them at your camps. You know, so for moving forward, it just allows us. Because for us, we're going to get a lot of our players that come to these camps. We're going to evaluate them. We're going to say, you know what, we like this. We now got to build a relationship with them. We got to recruit them, and we got to make sure they sign as Penguins. What do you want to see out of these kids when you instruct them? So we teach them every component and we stress to them that they're attempting to replicate a neomuscular task over and over and over again. So repetition and doing it the same every time is absolutely key. So one thing we'll say right away to them is if they're doing it different between kicks, they're not going to succeed. They need to do it the same way every time. What do you want to see these campers get out of this experience here? Well, we want to, we, we believe a very different camp. You know, so many camps now are almost like combines. They're just trying out kids for the college. We like to have an instructional camp. We want to help these kids get better. It's exciting to Jeff and I that we look at the newspaper on Saturday mornings and see how well they did on Friday evenings because most of our kids are local. So we, we want to have an instructional camp. and try and help these kids craft their skill. I hope they go back and they say they had a great time, that they were taught something, that it's been positive experience. You know, it's not all about just testing. Uh, that's our number one, and that they had fun. You know, it's gotta be fun. It's June, it's hot, it's humid. They could be at a pool, but they're here trying to become better football players, and we gotta put on a great show for them. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.